Hey everybody, you know who it is. So this is a video I took of my computer setup when I go places. So first, here's my college. Look, they got all these old Core 2 duos. And long story short, I can't really trust college computers. They do have a few nice old uh, computers there though. But yeah, this is my Acer laptop. But first, I might as well show you my uh, WinBook tablet. So this tablet runs Windows 8. I got it for only 140 bucks. It might be cheaper now, I don't know. But as you can see, it has half decent specs. I mean, it's got 32 gigs of storage, it has an Intel Atom. Uh, it also has two gigs of RAM. I might try to lean the recovery thing on that computer and back it up to a flash drive or something, because I heard you can do that to free up more space, because there's not too much space available on here, sadly. But what I have here is a Bluetooth HP keyboard, along with a Bluetooth mouse I got from Amazon. but. This is an HP Bluetooth keyboard, it actually types pretty nice, and it allows me to like do my own work on this tablet, along with like type Skype messages and post stuff to Twitter, but as you can see the mouse works with Windows 8 just like it would on a desktop. What I also have here though is, well, with the keyboard I can also type in button combos like Windows D, Windows L to lock the machine instead of just put it into sleep mode like pushing the power button does and of course I got games like Halo, Crisis, and I have Steam on here. So now here's my Acer laptop with Linux on it and as you can see I have CDE on here and it's pretty much a desktop environment that they used on older versions of uh, Unix and Linux and stuff but basically it gives me like that sick 90s look like it, it really does look like the most 90s thing ever but it's also real fast it's snappy and it's pretty useful i mean if you've ever used it you'll know how useful it is and how easy it is to use but yeah this has debian on it this is not some old unix i found off the internet this is debian uh wheezy and i can run apps on here such as ice weasel um and of course LibreOffice and other apps just like that. For example, LibreOffice, I can open that thing up quickly and it works just fine on this desktop environment and this laptop, which is really just an old netbook with two gigs of RAM and an Intel Atom. So it's pretty old stuff, but I do have an extended life battery in it, so I get good battery life and of course, I can type stuff on it. But yeah, it also comes with some nice screensavers too, such as the usual CDE screensavers, but of course there are a few bugs like Maxmine using Windows makes them way too big, but I think that's to do more with the fact that this is a tiny, tiny screen. But of course, even though it's got weak hardware like an old Atom, like you know the single core ones, it's well supported under Linux. It really is. The GPU, for example, comes with the drivers, and did I mention that with the Wi-Fi card? And it, it also does not require firmware, so literally all I have to do is uh, put the Debian CD in and install, because it does not require any sort of firmware from a flash drive or any of that stuff whatsoever. And this makes it really nice because I don't have to go through any inconvenience or give up quote freedom just to use the Wi-Fi on this computer. Of course, it doesn't connect to my college network, so I've got all these uh, computers, my tablet, and of course my laptop connected through my phone Wi-Fi. But this tablet does have some nice ports on it, like HDMI, USB 3.0, and I've got a micro SD card in it. So as you can see with this nice setup, I'm all ready to go no matter where I am because both of these get pretty good battery life, even when I push them. Like that netbook goes a long time and so is this tablet, even when I play Halo on it. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.